Since a few years ago, in order to create more harmonious and friendly spaces for people who live in urban areas, all big factories are being relocated in less populated areas. But the spaces where these old factories used to be are being rescued and reused for different purposes that benefit the people of the communities around. We are visiting another cool place in Xi'an. Today we are coming to a local market, but not just any market. This is a very special one because this place used to be an old factory, and it was actually the oldest and largest towels factory in China. After the factory was relocated in the suburbs of the city, this place was abandoned. But not long after that, it went through a big transformation process and all the structure was recovered and reconverted into a beautiful place. In here, there are a lot of different shops of all kinds. You can find everything, from fruits and vegetables, ice creams, plants, hands and craft. There is even a special section with several pet stores with animals of all kinds. There are also plenty of nice little restaurants and cafes. This is also a place where many cultural activities are held, especially on weekends. In these kind of places, you will always find spaces dedicated to local artisans and craftsmen, who can display and sell their creations and at the same time promote the local culture and products. This is the product of many local policies that are being directly created and implemented to benefit the people. And it is really wonderful to see that these places always preserve somehow part of what they used to be. They are not completely demolished. They were simply transformed and adapted into a more functional space to serve other purposes. So ultimately, this is not a simple space for retail. It is a place designed and converted with a more humanistic purpose. You can see it is an open space, well connected, it looks good. I have seen these kind of places in many cities in China and I believe nowadays they are more necessary than ever. With a more stressful and hectic rhythms in our daily lives, it is good to know that you have spaces like this where you can go and disconnect and enjoy a nice day with all the family. Xi'an is a city with many years of history, but it doesn't mean it can't be modern and thriving at the same time. These places prove that it is possible, where locals and visitors like me can come and taste local flavors and colors. So let's take a look to some of the shops that you can find here and see what the products are offering. I see some ID for some aunties. They are making their own products, they are handcrafted, they are handmade, and they are showcasing them for people I think that is very lovely the way they are uh, stimulating local productions, local talent to make their product and get some benefit out of it. So let's take a look to see what they have there. Here we have a chongzuo tea. Smell? This is very Chinese local design. Inside you have kind of a sachet which will give you a good smell. And wow. this is designed and made totally by her. So as I was telling you, these kind of spaces are promoting the making of local art, local handcraft. You see how beautiful it is? This is like a frog using the same material with a little... Oh, you have the little one here so they have two frogs this is a chinese coin and that's <laughs> so cute
walking around and I found another booth for another space with uh, an IE, very talented IE, I must say. She's using cotton to make different kind of design, mostly related with nature. You can see animals here, there is a peacock, you have a cat, you have a beautiful horse here. And make very beautiful, colorful designs by herself. And she's actually working here. You can see she has all the tools and all the materials she needs in order to make beautiful products like this. So she has different type of uh, colors to mix and match and make this kind of beautiful design. These are all you can say. What's the food like? Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.